The recently launched High Five Rural Traffic Safety Program from Kentucky State Police is making its way to Pike County. On Tuesday, July 23rd, local law enforcement and transportation officials met at the Pike County Judicial Center to discuss the program and how it can benefit area residents. Similarly to KSP Post 13 and Hazard, there will be a large emphasis on educating the public about risk reduction while driving. It's more of a educational for the public. Um, you know, we want we want our people to, to be taken care of too. And you know, we live in eastern Kentucky, a rural community. Our, our roads are not the straightest, and, and so you know, uh, people need to wear their seatbelt. You know, it helps help save lives, and it's a proven fact that you know with the statistics that it does work and help. And you know, people need to do it. And we're going to be out in the community and. Uh, you know, like I said, with the state police, either going to schools or, or uh, having road checks, you know, m making people sure they wear their seatbelt. And like the trooper said, you know, it's, it's not about writing citations. None of us like to write citations. You know, this is about awareness, about making sure people are safe, and, you know, we want to keep them alive. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. Pike County Sheriff's Office and KSP Post 9 will be doing their best to reduce fatality statistics on the roadways. For KSP, this means educating in a more hands-on way. As you know, as way. the public affairs officer, I'm in a lot of schools doing different programs, talking to the students, uh, and this is something that I'm very passionate about, uh, you know, wearing your seatbelt and how wearing your seatbelt can save lives. So being able to go into the school and, and give those presentations and just relay this information to the students, uh, taking the rollover simulator from the highway department and showing them, you know, uh, what it looks like when you have your seatbelt on and when you don't have your seatbelt on during a crash. Uh, I think will really hit home with them, uh, being able to show them that hands-on experience of, of seeing that may, uh, may be able to impact them more than just, you know, a slideshow or, or a presentation. Uh, and you know, I'm a firm believer that if you teach a child at a young age uh, how to do right, that, you know, they'll carry that throughout life with them. Uh, so if we can start with our kids in our local schools and show them, you know, that a seatbelt is very important and, you know, may save their life or, you know, prevent injury if they were to get into a crash. Uh, you know, I think that's it's a great program and I'm really excited to get started with it. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.